So let's talk about the producer that's got a couple of years in the business. Mm -hmm. I would argue that what they need to do is they're going to need to find a way to partner with somebody that can help them with that. So if I was starting brand new, I'll tell you what I did. I would either find uh, an organization that is dedicated to helping newer agents find prospects, training yep. them, helping them either get prospects or paying for prospects, you know, work at a call center, work at a insurance company like I did, find a place that will give you the training that you're going to need and will help you find not only prospects, but prospects that you like working. That's another, I think, challenge that some agents have. They'll say, yeah, I've got leads, but man, I don't want to call them. I don't want to, I hate the, you know, I hate being told this or that. I go, you got the wrong lead. You got to be looking forward to talking to people. And if you're miserable because you got the wrong lead source, you got to go find somebody that can provide you a lead source that you like. It's never going to work if you fear the phone, right? Yeah. I mean, that's what agents do. They look at that phone, they're looking at it, oh, oh man, I don't want to pick it up and I don't want to talk to these people. Yeah, you got to have a lead source that you like. Yes, you do, man. You're absolutely right. That's something you got to do. Um, for you, it seems like you were just someone that embodied, because when I think about, uh, when I think about Andy, I'm like, okay, he, 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 he didn't quit. He persevered. He got better over time. He made yeah. more money over time. And, and you deep down want to help people. Like the first time we spoke on the phone when I was, I think I believe, I think I was driving to Rolla, Missouri to see my in-laws. And it was like last summer maybe. And I'm like, man, uh, this dude gets it. This dude cares about people. This dude likes and, and does everything he can to, to help people. And he knows a ton about the industry. And I remember getting off the phone and I'm like, that's just a good dude. You know, like you get off the phone and you're like, and, and you think this is someone I want to start to really get to know. Is that someone, is, is that something that because of the way you were raised or you just always been that way? Like how has Andy become the good dude that Andy is today? Where's that, where's that come from? I don't know that I have a great answer, but you definitely have, um, you definitely got me right. I, when I was um, producing, when I am producing, is the same thing when I work with agents. I never think about money, mm. ever. I never think, is this going to make me money? Is this going to make me more money? I never do that. I am always thinking about how to help people. Yep. Whether it's a consumer that I'm trying to help, they got a problem and I'm trying to solve it. And certainly every day, the same thing with agents. I'm only thinking every day, how can I help more agents? How can I help them accomplish their objectives? And I love the success stories. Um, in fact, one of the things that we're going to do at 8%, we're so excited about this summer, is I'm going to be sharing with your, um, with your audience success stories. And I'm not just going to talk about them. I'm going to bring them. And mm -hmm. I'm going to let them talk about how, how they got the kinds of things that they needed in order to be successful. And that doesn't mean just getting started. Maybe it was just, hey, I wanted to get to the next level. And I just couldn't figure out how to get over the hump. That's a lot of what we do. Yeah. Sometimes it was just, you know, I just wanted to be comfortable. I, w I didn't want to work to the point where I was struggling. I just wanted to have good things happen in my family. Those I love. Uh, you're going to see those at 8%. And, and we're proud of the fact that people view the things that we do as making their lives better. If I can help more agents make their lives better, then that's what keeps me going. And you're exactly right. When we were talking about that, that's, I think that's the kind of thing I was telling you about. And I still think that every day. And yeah, you know what? Money will come. You know, it'll be there. And if you know, you're an agent and, and you're thinking, how do I make more money? How do I make more money? You're asking the wrong question. The question right. is, how do I help more, help more people? That's what people who make money do. They help people. They help people with their problems. And you'll find that it is constantly feeding itself. As soon as people know you as the guy that helps people, everybody wants to, have, to talk to you. Whether you're an agent or you're an FMO, it's the same thing. People know. And just like you, know, you were saying, I, I really do believe it. I don't never think about money. I only think about how I can help people. Money will be there. It's not right. going anywhere. It'll be there. That's right. I love that, man. I love that. When I, because when I first started on YouTube, I remember 
not really doing anything monetarily to monetize at all for the first 13 months. You know, it's like it, 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 you're right. You do enough good in the world and the money will come. Yeah. You know, if you would have just done YouTube for the purposes of making a buck, well, you wouldn't have made it 13 days, much less 13 months. You just say, okay, well, this is putting money in my pot. Yeah. Now your intent was to try to communicate. Your intent was to try to help. Your intent, yeah. I can tell it when I'm watching your videos, as I mentioned, I've been watching a bunch of them. I really enjoyed them and um, you got a great message. And uh, unfortunately, you're kind of out there on an island. There's not a lot of Cody's out there. So if, uh, if I'm an agent, I, I would go onto Cody's YouTube channel and watch every single video you have the time to watch. And, and um, it, it, if you've got five minutes, go watch a Cody video. I mean, you will benefit. And uh, I, I don't get paid to say that, at Cody. I just, no. I, the reason I want to help you is because I know you're helping agents. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you, you bring up, you, you kind of, one of the things I wanted to pivot to based on what you just said is yeah. um, finding a mentor in this business, finding someone that you can rely on, that you can learn from, that you can lean on uh, is so much more important than people think. And I know it's something that you talk about and believe as well. Yeah. You know, it, not only do I talk about and believe it, but we do that every day. Our organization is made up of producers. And it is not only um, me and I still sell, I still talk to consumers every day, keeps me sharp. Yeah. But everybody, all of our sales managers, sales directors, everybody involved in our organization are top producers. And believe it or not, mm -hmm. they want to share with others. And let me explain one of the ways that they do it. I believe we may be the only FMO in the country that has their agent force be a community. We have a community mm. of hundreds, maybe thousands of agents that are all with our organization. Nobody knows about this because nobody else can see this, but we have a closed group on Facebook and it is an incredibly powerful group. Hundreds, thousands of our agents are on there and they're all helping each other every day. Wow. And the beauty of it is I'm a member of so many other Facebook groups and I see some poor agent ask a question and they'll get 20 responses. And unfortunately, 17 of them are wrong. Yeah. And I'm just looking at that, you know, series of comments. I'm like, oh, my gosh, this is wrong. This is wrong. Oh, my gosh, please don't do that. Please don't do that. Yeah. But on our group, it is moderated by experts only. Our top producers are the ones who comment. Our top mm. producers are the ones who are telling you this is how this works. Or here's a phone number for the head of claims. Or here's how this benefit works. Or here's how underwriting works. I just don't know of any other organization where top producers are that freely willing to share their best practices, whether it's sales, products, carriers, uh, partners, vendors, they share everything and nobody has any qualms. Like, am I helping my competitor? They mm. never talk that way. They never think that way. They just want to be a part of the community. And you might say, you know, how did I get them to do that? And the answer is I did. I've never asked them to do it. I've never intended that they would do it. We've just built an organization of like-minded people that want to help others. It, awesome. it's, I guess maybe it's kind of rubbed off on everybody that, you know, we're, we're all better off helping each other. There's no benefit to hoarding all the good information and, uh, and not sharing it with those that are really craving it. Uh, I think it's something really different and unique that you just won't find in a lot of other places. So true, man. That is, is that, uh, is that also something that happens? I know you guys do some events as well. Um, yep. Is that something that really happens a lot at events as well? Because I'm, I'm a big believer in the power of getting people together to learn. So you're exactly right, Cody. We were actually going to have you be our keynote speaker at our last event last summer. But uh, as you know, it uh, didn't go so good because of the That's pandemic. True. So we didn't have ours. And I don't think we're going to have ours this year either. But there's no question that if you ask, first of all, all of our top producers come in for this event, all on their own dime, wow. even though you think, They've already got it figured out. They're already making hundreds of thousands of dollars. Why would they come? What do mm. they stand to gain? And every one of them says the same thing. 
because I'm learning from others. I still want to learn. That's, of course, what top producers do, right? They're constantly learning. They, yeah. you, you should never think of learning as having some sort of, a, of an ending. There's no such thing. You no. stop learning, you're dead or retired or whatever. That's right. That's right. Um, so they, they crave the learning. They love the interaction. They like being a part of that community of other producers that are like-minded. Yep, the event is the same thing. Unfortunately, the pandemic has sort of handcuffed us a little bit, but uh, but make no mistake, it, 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 what you're alluding to is, is no different, whether it's virtual or whether it's, uh, whether it's live. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're gonna love. It's right there, click on it, see you in there. How many people in the room are selling life insurance weekly? Simplified issue, life insurance. How many people in the room are selling Medicare? Anybody selling mortgage protection? How many people are selling final expense? We specialize in...